So what of our nominee? Well, on the plus side, Mr Juncker, you are a sociable cove uh, with a very much better sense of humour than most people I've met in Brussels. And there's no question that you are a political operator and you've even managed to, over the last couple of weeks, as you've gone around the political groups, change the mood music a bit. You've said that you don't believe in the United States of Europe. You don't believe in a common European identity. But I have to say, I didn't believe a word of it. Um, and today you've proven that actually you're stuck back uh, with the ideas of the old Europe. You talked about Monsieur Delors being a hero of yours. Well, I can understand that from your perspective. But you also talked about Mr Mitterrand and Mr Cole as being heroes of yours. Uh, I would have thought uh, a wartime collaborator and somebody who left German politics under a huge cloud of a massive party funding scandal should not be the kind of people that we should stand up as great models of virtue in modern Europe today. You talked about the need for a common foreign policy and security policy. Uh, you talked about the need for a common energy policy. I mean, what is clear is you are going to carry on with the process of the centralization of powers, which is not surprising, because for 20 years you've been a key player in this whole process which frankly has treated democracy with deliberate contempt. I think the best example is your quote about the French referendum on the Constitution, where you said, if it's a yes, we will say on we go. And if it's a no, we will say we continue. How's that? How's that for belief in democracy? And your dedication to the project is, well, it's unchallengeable. I mean, you've said before that when it becomes serious, you have to lie. So in many ways, I suppose, you are the perfect candidate uh, for a lot of people in this House, uh, and I've no doubt that you will get the nomination. Uh, but we are being asked to vote for the ultimate Brussels insider, somebody who was always operated with dark backroom deals and stitch-ups, and I have to say that our group overwhelmingly will vote no. We don't want business as usual. We want real change. And you said at the end of your speech, this is not the time for a revolution. I put it to you, there's already been a revolution, there's effectively been a coup d'etat on nation-state democracies, without people realising, without people realising what was being done to them. Uh, and these elections, these elections, the Eurosceptics may not yet have a majority in this House, uh, but please don't think we're over because the vast majority of European people don't want a European state, don't want a European Commission to be the executive, don't want that flag and don't want that anthem. So you'll get elected um, and we'll enjoy doing battle over the course of the next year or two.